going to continue doing some more testing uh, for you guys. And I want to show you guys the Honeydew Snow Foam in a standard foam gun with the amount that I usually use. And I'm going to also do the Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam in the foam gun. And then I'm going to do another video for you guys uh, as well showing both in the foam cannons back to back. I actually got an extra battery right now. So the camera, if it goes dead, I'm going to start over and redo it. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I have a mark on my Gilmore foam gun and we're going to fill it, the water up to that level. Now usually for years, the many many years I've been using snow foam, I put two complete pumps into the foam gun. Now I don't really know how many ounces that is specifically so I have my Sherwin-Williams measuring bins here and I'm going to pump the two pumps into this. I'm going to see what that comes up to. We're going to throw it in there, show you the test. Then we're going to compare the exact same amount. We're going to squirt it into here up to the same level, clean this out, switch it out, and show you the same results. Like I said, with the foam gun, uh, it's going to be a little bit different than the foam cannon. I'm not going to adjust the foam gun. I'm going to leave it the way it's set. I'm not going to adjust anything on the pressure uh, or you know what's coming out. On the foam cannon, we already saw how interesting this product was where it continue to dwell and cling to the paint even after 10 minutes of time and more. I really really like that. That's very very unique. Uh, this seems to be very very different than any other product uh, on the market right now uh, that I've ever tested in the last 10 to 15 years. So this is quite interesting. So we're gonna see how it does back to back with the Honeydew Snow Foam. I think this is a much more realistic and comparable test. A lot of guys are saying oh you should really compare it. So you know what? Uh, I mean, I have everything here. Why not? Let's just do it. It's early in the morning. Let's shoot this stuff up. So stick to it. I'm going to uh, start mixing right now. All right, guys, we're back. I just cleaned out the uh, my Gilmore foam gun. We got it up to that line. I'm going to remove the cap off the Honeydew Snow Foam. And we're going to just give two complete pumps into one of these containers. We're going to see how many ounces that levels out to. That's one. Let it retract. These pumps aren't the greatest, but that's all we have. That's two. Okay. And that's pretty much the quantity that I've always used of the snow foam with the foam gun. That just seems to work as the only thing that works in my area with my water. So if you look here, that's showing up on the camera. Let me, let me just level it out. That's showing up at exactly two ounces. So two pumps with the pumps that are attached to the gallon containers gives you two ounces. So I'm going to pour the two ounces directly into here. And I have a spoon, so I'm going to get it all out. And to be honest with you, with the foam gun, this stuff works really well. Uh, it doesn't give you that same intensity that it does with the foam cannon, but it's not supposed to. All right, I'm actually going to throw a little bit of water in here. The hose is right next to me. I just want to get as much of it out as possible because, like I said, there we go. So that's two ounces of the Honeydew Snow Foam in the Gilmore Foam Gun. So we're going to push this to the side and then this is going to be the secondary test. And then I lock it in and then of course I'm going to agitate it like I'm showing you here. Okay, you see the nice green color, you see it's up to that same line. I'm going to move the camera around uh, and then we're going to start firing this thing up. All right, guys, here we go. Now, just to let you guys know, because a lot of people ask me what type of equipment I'm using, I have a 100-foot garden hose. It's a 3 quarter inch ID. So we got two complete ounces of the Honeydew Snow Foam and the Gilmore Foam Cannon with the garden hose. I am not touching the adjustment on here. Car is clean, so we're just going to give it a shot, show you guys what this stuff does.
I mean, it's a completely different result than the foam cannon, as you guys can see. But believe it or not, it's, it's enough runoff and enough film that it leaves to do a really good hand wash with your two bucket or one bucket method, whatever you guys want to use. And you guys could even go and chase the panels of the car while you do it, you know, with your mitt. And you guys could see. And I'm just going to pretty much use all of it just because it'll be easier for me to clean it out to uh, switch to the other product. My gallons per minute on my water supply are a little lower than they should. They're about seven. Uh, normally they should be around nine, but that's just the way the, uh, the water supply is on my garage spigot. So that's it guys, that's two ounces of the Honeydew Snow Foam in the Gilmore Foam Gun. And like I said, it, it's great for a hand wash. You can't really beat it. These things are awesome. If you don't want to fire up your, your machine, you want to do it early in the morning like it is now, uh, you don't want to bother your neighbors, these things are great. Uh, you know, it, it leaves enough soap and enough film. It's got good runoff, like you can see down here, and uh, just works well. You could actually put four ounces or six ounces into the foam gun it gives you a little bit more foam, but not enough to merit wasting that much product. Uh, that's just from experience. I've tried it all. It seems that two pumps, which is equal to two ounces, gives you a really good result. And uh, you guys can see it here. I mean, it's, you know, it still has enough film just left on the car to do your wash. And uh, you have enough lubricity and enough runoff to uh, safely wash the car without scratching it. So I'm going to hose the car off now. And... Uh, we're going to switch product. We're going to do the same test with the Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam. All right, perfectly prepped for the next one. All right, guys, so we cleaned out the uh, foam gun. We got the level up to the same. You see that there? It's two ounces. Again, two ounces. I'm going to grab my spoon. And like I said, I'm not really expecting this product, the uh, Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam, to do anything different than the honey to snow foam with the foam gun but to be honest with you this is the first time i'm actually trying it like this and uh you guys are going to see the results firsthand and then uh, we're going to switch the apparatus and then we're going to fire up the power washer and we're going to do a back to back it's that for the second video okay So we got that all mixed up. Well, it seems like this one's spitting out a little bit more foam than this honey to snow foam. So let's let's give it a shot. Let's connect it. It looks like this moved. All right, there we go. All right. So guys, this is two ounces of the Masterson's Mystic Foam. And like I told you guys, 
I wasn't expecting it to do anything different. You know, it's got the same level of foam visually, about the same runoff. I mean, maybe some of you guys could pick up. It probably has a little bit more uh, suds effect that I'm noticing, a little bit more. Okay, like you guys could see it right here. Well, like I said, this is, you know, another outstanding product to use with a conventional foam gun with your garden hose and your one or two bucket method. And uh, I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these products. And uh, my thing is that, you know, with my water over here, a lot of product don't, doesn't give foam, uh, it doesn't do this. And that's just from experience of trying so many things over the years. And that's why I kind of stuck with the snow foam for so damn long since it was introduced. It's because it was the only product that actually worked. You know? Yeah, this stuff works well. I think when I play the video back in editing, I'm gonna pretty much visually see back to back. I'll go frame to frame and see which one is doing more foam. And I'll do a little compare and contrast as far as the bubbles, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. So, all right, we're already out. So you guys can see that's the Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam. Uh, works great. You know, it's got good runoff. It's got a good film. Pretty good uh, foam and bubble intensity for a foam gun. And uh, that's it. Going to hose the car down now. We're going to switch everything over to the foam cannons. We're going to do a back-to-back. -back. That's going to be for the second video of this test.